I would have to put this near the top of the list of things that we do in this practice, and that's uh, trying to identify women at risk of breast cancer and steering them in, in the opposite direction so they don't get breast cancer. But how do we do that? Well, we do that by balancing their hormones. Uh, what we find from even young women is that they have a hormonal imbalance. They have lots of estrogen and not enough progesterone to balance it out. The symptoms of that, uh, and if you ask women, they say, oh yeah, I've had that, my doctor never said anything, it would be breast tenderness before their period, a major symptom. Of course, you've heard of premenstrual syndrome when they had all these different symptoms before their period. That's also a sign of estrogen dominance. But the reason that needs to be addressed at an early age is the risk factor for the development of cancer, even for fibroids in the uterus, fibrocystic breast disease. So you don't want to ignore these symptoms that are very common. You know, the fact that a symptom is very common doesn't mean it's normal. Uh, but the best test that we do is thermography, uh, breast thermography. Uh, more and more women are, are hearing about that, but everybody is used to hearing about mammograms. Uh, mammograms have a few problems associated with it. Number one is that it's exposure to radiation. Radiation uh, accumulates, and they say each mammogram a woman gets increases the risk of breast cancer by 1%. So imagine a woman that's been getting mammograms on a regular basis for 20 years. They really increase their risk of developing breast cancer. But more importantly, with mammograms, it doesn't identify women at risk of developing breast cancer. It's not an early detection. It's late. You've already got breast cancer when they tell you, oh, we see something on the mammogram. Go for a biopsy. If it were a good test, you would see a very high percentage of those biopsies coming back positive. But in reality, only 20% are positive, the 80% are, are benign. So it's really uh, not a very accurate test. Uh, a more precise test and a functional test is thermography, which measures the heat that's emanating from the women's breasts. Now, if you have normal breasts, you will see uh, cool temperatures and symmetric temperatures. Both breasts will look the same in temperature. Uh, if you have any disease process going on or any hormonal imbalance, you'll start to see discrepancies in temperature, and that highlights women that need to be assessed further. And you don't get that opportunity with any other tests, whether it be a mammogram or an MRI of the breast or an ultrasound. Those are all looking for the presence of a tumor. We're looking for an environment in a woman's body that is conducive to the development of disease very early on so we can reverse it. Uh, it's been uh, stated that a abnormal thermography will predate the, the appearance of cancer by as much as 10 years in a woman. So there's 10 years that a woman has a chance to correct the problem. So it's very important that you not only get a thermography, but you be in an office that knows how to treat the abnormalities associated with thermography. Otherwise, you'll take it to your regular doctor and he'll say you wasted your money. Actually, I think uh, any woman that's having their menstrual cycle, because that's when the hormones start uh, being uh, made by the body, and that's when you can develop any issues. And the nice thing about a thermography, there's no radiation, there's no compression, there's no pain, and it's entirely safe. So you can identify women. Like I said, you have teenage women complaining of breast tenderness, for example. That's a sign of a problem that can easily be addressed. Usually it's just the, the addition of a little more progesterone in certain parts of the cycle. 